Yes, then BD was. Feeling so great, BD.
Where to next? Ah, oh, this beautiful ship, it just keeps giving me a hard time. I bet BD-1 wouldn't mind helping you fix some things around here. What? No, no, no. I don't need him fixing nothing. You keep your scumps off my ship. You know the work I put into this ship? You should feel lucky just to be aboard. This is a galaxy-class luxury Starliner. <laughs> Don't listen to them. I still love you. All right, kids, sit down. We're here. Kid. How many of the creatures out there actually eat little Aterons like me? I don't know, Grease. Right, right. You doing okay? I need to check on your state of mind now and then, because if you go, then I go in a much more painful way. I haven't really thought about it. Oh, I get it. Too busy on the task to worry about yourself. I do the same thing all the time. I don't know if you heard, but I cook. I've heard. Well, sometimes I'll be focused so much on braising a shack roast that I barely even notice that my apron is completely on fire. So, you know, I get it. I guess you do, Grease. I'm still here, though, so that's got to mean something.
Drop him!
Let's go, BD. Slice this thing? <laughs> Just need to know, don't you? What you got there? Fall behind. Let's look. Good job, BD.
want to look inside? Huh. There was something in there. Something interesting? My friend, entering the vault is... ...be a premonition just as it did for the Sepho. 